So just before he died, Jesus took the opportunity to explain to the disciples what would happen when they received the Holy Spirit. Uh, in Luke's Gospel, it says that you will receive power. Well, in Acts, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You'll be my witnesses. But John goes a lot deeper than that. John gives us a whole three chapters of, of life in the Spirit. And uh, it's, it's a powerful thing and it's not easy to understand. But I just want to skim over it tonight and, and just help us to see what happens when we receive the Holy Spirit. Because my prayer is that you will receive the Holy Spirit tonight, that you will, yeah, be filled with the Holy Spirit tonight. And so just to say that Jesus calls the Holy Spirit the uh, the one who will enable us to do the greater things. So there's more for us to do. There's more miracles. There's more understanding. There's more wisdom. There's more power. There's more inventions there's all sorts of wonderful things that we can do because we're filled with the holy spirit and he says i'm going to give you another paraclete another alongsider uh, i'm going to give you one like me uh, but he will be with you and in you and this this one who comes alongside you will not only be alongside you he'll be in you and and the the Bible translators don't quite know what to do with this idea of one who walks alongside the paraclete. So they translate it counsellor, uh, the one who encourages us to keep going, uh, to make the most of who we are. The comforter who who just stands alongside us in our troubles and difficulties. Um, but it also translates it the advocate, which I think is probably the best translation, which is the a law court illustration where the orphan who wasn't given a voice in court has someone who will speak for them jesus says i won't leave you as orphans but i will send the advocate who will speak alongside you who will speak for you who'll give you a voice jesus says you will be my witnesses when the spirit comes on you and in the, the court of human opinion we have a voice because the spirit of god gives us something to say he says, uh, the spirit will be with you, chapter 14, verse 17, and in you. Uh, this spirit, you know, we can receive the Holy Spirit. The, the spirit can fill us because he will be in us. And in that place, he will teach us all things, teach us from the inside. It's not like we're learning things and trying to copy them, but but that there'll be a uh, an inner inclination to do and remember the things of Jesus. And so he's going to teach us everything that he's told us. We're going to have uh, reminders of scriptures that we need to obey at this particular point. We will be led by the spirit. We'll do the things that the spirit of Jesus wants us to do because he is in us and he's teaching us what to do day by day and moment by moment. Uh, as we do that in chapter 15 verse 10 it says that you will remain in my love uh, like the uh, branches remain in the vine and and my joy will be in you and your joy may be complete uh, chapter 16 verse 24 also talks about joy chapter 17 verse 13 also talks about joy and it talks about our joy being complete Jesus joy being complete as he lives in us it makes us happy when we we're filled with the Holy Spirit and it makes Jesus happy when we're filled with the Holy Spirit he's previously said peace I leave with you my peace I give to you that's 1427 now he gives us his joy by the Holy Spirit peace and joy receive the Spirit of Jesus receive the Holy Spirit and then he says, you know, as you live in this whole unity with me, in me and I in you, then love one another. And if you do that, then I'm going to you're going to be my friends. That's how you'll be my friends. If you have love one another for one another, I have called you friends. And then just a beautiful verse that takes a, a repays a real serious thought and prayer. All that belongs to the father is mine. That is why I said the spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. That's 1615. The Holy Spirit taking what is Jesus's and giving it to us, making it known to us, his peace, his joy, his teaching, uh, revelation of who he is, uh, the, 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 the whole guidance that we need uh, from the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit is our comforter and our counsellor and our advocate, taking from what is Jesus, giving it to us. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Have a great time as you talk about this stuff. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.